Hi, this is Stu for ASUS. Right here, I have our very latest RT-AX88U router. These are the first routers that are compliant with the latest AX standard, a standard that promises better data throughput and improved connectivity in dense Wi-Fi environments. We're going to start by giving you a look inside the retail package, as well as giving you a look at what you can expect in terms of improved Wi-Fi performance. OK, so we're going to go straight into the retail package here. And first of all, we've got a service card here in case you encounter any issues. A fast and easy setup guide so you can get online and enjoy the product as quickly as possible. And then we come to the man himself, the RT-AX88U router, which of course arrives without any antennas attached. We'll just put this guy to one side for a second. Okay, let's go down a level deeper. And we can see here we have our four antennas laid out. All right, what do we have behind this door here? Okay, this is uh, a guide on how to use WTFast to improve your overall gaming experience. We have a safety notice here to make sure you don't do anything dangerous, presumably. And we have, of course, the warranty card, a power adapter right here, and the RJ45 Ethernet cable. Let's just go back to the device itself, and which we can quickly get into, get rid of this packaging. And here you can see him in all his glory, looking very nice with dark, angular design that we've come to expect from ASUS. Let's uh, go ahead and get these antennas on. Okay, so let's continue by taking a look around the device. As you can see right here on the front, we have a small flap which hides our USB 3.0 port. Now, on the other side, we have a unique button here where we can turn off the LEDs on the front. Uh, perhaps that's uh, handy in case you're in bed and you don't want flashing lights. Also on the end here, we have a universal Wi-Fi on, Wi-Fi off button, which is useful in case you just want to turn off the Wi-Fi altogether. Okay, let's uh, now look at these LED indicators along the top. We have on the far side here, we have a power LED indicator. Right next to that, we have a indicator for our 5 gigahertz and 2.5 gigahertz bands, followed by our WAN indicator, a LAN indicator, front panel USB and rear panel USB indicators with a WPS indicator here on the end. Okay, let's take a look round the back. We start here with our power on off switch and then our DC input port right there. This, right next to that is a global reset switch, if you want to reset the entire device, uh, which is positioned right next to a WPS button. In the middle, between these two antennas, we have eight gigabit LAN ports with a WAN port on the end, and then finally, we have our rear-positioned USB 3.0 port. In order to give you an indication of what to expect with the new AX standard in terms of improved throughput, we've put together this small demo. Now what we have here is two desktop PCs, each connected to an RT-AX88U router. So this guy here is connected in router mode, while this guy over on my left is connected as a client. The reason we're doing this is because right now there are no AX compatible clients on the market. Each of these PCs has three gigabit adapters installed and are connected to the RT-AX88U router as three separate gigabit LAN clients. This is in order to saturate potential Wi-Fi network bandwidth and eliminate any potential bottleneck in this test. Using the iX Chariot Network testing app, we can see a combined wireless network throughput of around 2.5 gigabits per second. This is a substantial improvement over AC standard Wi-Fi, which in this scenario would max out at around 1.1 gigabytes per second. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.